Amy Giannotti here, your dietitian for the eight week challenge. I can't believe we're going into our last week, going into week eight. Um, so first of all, I'd like to congratulate you all on your amazing efforts, your consistency, and being open to change. I am sure that all of you have, have been well rewarded for your hard work in many different ways. So today, I wanna to talk about the transition period. So earlier on, and especially in the rule book, I spoke about a rebalanced period for those people who have further goals in weight loss or um, want to lose more body fat. So at the end of the eight weeks, we'll have two choices. So some people will be happy with their body composition changes and want to maintain, and others may have some goals to go further with re uh, reduction in their body fat. So either way, we, we need a rebalanced period. Because if we continue to be in this energy deficit for a long period of time, that can have some negative health um, consequences. So, first of all, obviously if we're always dieting, um, I don't think that's going to have a positive impact on our social health and our mental health. Um, so it's important to have a bit of a rebalance period for that, to enjoy the cake or enjoy a few extra drinks or some foods that you feel like you've been missing out. But also, if we're in an energy deficit for a long period of time, that can have an effect on our health and our metabolic rate. Because, first of all, when our body is in this energy deficit, it feels that it, you know, it's not going to get this energy. So it may start to decrease your metabolic rate or switch off some important functions um, in your body. So females, for example, may see that their periods may start to stop. A reason for that is because the body isn't getting enough energy and it may feel that um, they're not in the most healthiest position um, to fall pregnant. And also um, some other metabolic problems could be um, some issues with temperature regulation and all those kind of things. So I, want to get, I don't want to get into too much detail um, about that right now, but I just do highly recommend a two week rebalance period. So for the last eight weeks, you were to call seven, eight, seven weeks, you've been in an energy deficit. So your energy requirements are here and you've been in an energy deficit. So eating less energy than your body requires. And that obviously is the key for weight loss. So we wanna make energy in equals energy out for two weeks. So for those people who are loving just the routine at the moment, some simple strategies could be to increase the carbohydrate content, maybe increase the protein content a little bit. So it could be more like a third, a third, a third of the plate rather than a quarter, quarter, half. You could also increase some healthy fats into your diet. So those um, foods that we spoke about a couple of weeks ago, so avocado, oil, um, nuts, so those healthy fats which actually have a role in our body. Um, so they provide a lot of energy per mouthful. And the biggest, I suppose, proof of if energy in equals energy out is that you're going to be maintaining your weight. So in this period as, as well, I think, you know, enjoy some foods that you may feel that you have started to crave, it may be pizza or cake or chocolate or whatever floats your boat. Um, and then you could get back into that um, structure um, after the two weeks um, of that rebalance period. For those who want to maintain um, what they've got, well, pretty much energy in equals energy out. Um, so you wanna um, increase all of those portion size a little bit as well, and make sure um, you, know, you can include some additional of those healthy fats as well. And again, if energy in equals energy out, you're gonna be maintaining um, your weight. If those, for those people who may want some one-on-one -on -one advice um, and wanna chat to me personally, you can make an appointment with me via my website, which is www.eatingfit.com.au. So there we can talk about your situation, your goals, your lifestyle, and um, talk about a further plan for you. So congratulations on coming this far. I'm so proud of all the photos and the messages and everything I've been getting off Facebook and email. Um, it's very exciting and very inspiring. So um, finish off the last week really strong and Remember, there's a really exciting prize coming your way. Thank you.